Welcome to our channel. Before we dive into today's topic, make sure to visit our website at electricalengineeringapp.com. Whether you're a student or a professional, our site is packed with resources to help you succeed in the field of electrical engineering. Don't miss out, check the link in the description below. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the fascinating world of boost converters. This video will guide you through the essential concepts and practical applications of boost converters, making it easier to understand their importance in electrical engineering. Let's start by understanding what a boost converter is. A boost converter is a type of DC-DC converter. DC stands for direct current, which is the type of current where the electric charge flows in one direction. A boost converter steps up or increases the input voltage to a higher output voltage. Essentially, it boosts the voltage while decreasing the current, which is why it's called a boost converter. Now, let's break down the components and operation of a boost converter. Take a look at this diagram. You can see four main components, an inductor, a switch, a diode, and a capacitor. Let's discuss each one in detail. First, we have the inductor. The inductor is a passive electronic component that stores energy in the form of a magnetic field when current flows through it. In our circuit, the inductor is labeled as 1 Henry, which is a unit of inductance. The role of the inductor in the boost converter is crucial because it stores energy when the switch is closed and releases it when the switch is open. Next, we have the switch, which is often a transistor. In this diagram, the switch is controlled by a pulse width modulation, PWM, signal operating at a frequency of 1 kHz. This means the switch opens and closes 1000 times per second. The PWM signal's duty cycle determines how long the switch stays closed, ton, versus how long it stays open, TOF. The duty cycle is a critical factor in determining the output voltage of the boost converter. The diode in the circuit acts like a one-way valve for electric current. It ensures that current flows in the correct direction and prevents it from flowing backward when the switch is open. This unidirectional flow is essential for maintaining the desired increase in voltage. Finally, we have the capacitor, which is shown here as 10 microfarads. The capacitor smooths out the output voltage, providing a stable DC output. This is important because electronic devices require a steady voltage supply to operate correctly. Without the capacitor, the output voltage would be a series of pulses rather than a smooth, continuous voltage. Let's move on to the operation of the boost converter. The operation can be divided into two phases, when the switch is closed and when the switch is open. When the switch is closed, current flows through the inductor, and energy is stored in the inductor's magnetic field. During this phase, the inductor's voltage increases. This is similar to winding up a spring, the energy is stored in the inductor. When the switch opens, the inductor releases its stored energy. This released energy adds to the input voltage, resulting in a higher output voltage. The diode prevents any reverse current, ensuring that the energy flows towards the output and charges the capacitor. This combined effect of the input voltage and the energy released from the inductor boosts the output voltage. Now, let's talk about the formula for calculating the output voltage of a boost converter. The output voltage, VOUT, is given by the formula. VOUT equals VIN divided by 1 minus D. Where D is the Dewey cycle, defined as D equals ton divided by, ton plus TOF. In this example, if our input voltage, VIN, is 5 volts and the Dewey cycle, D, is 68%, we can calculate the output voltage, VOUT, as follows. VOUT equals 5 volts divided by 1 minus 0 0.68 equals approximately 15.625 volts. This calculation shows that with a duty cycle of 68%, the boost converter increases the input voltage from 5 volts to approximately 15.625 volts. However, in practical applications, the output voltage may slightly vary due to real-world inefficiencies and component tolerances. In our circuit, the measured output voltage is around 14.262 volts, with a maximum value of 14.878 volts and an RMS voltage of 14.395 volts. Boost converters are incredibly useful in a variety of applications. They are used in battery-operated devices to increase the battery voltage to required levels, in renewable energy systems to step up the voltage from solar panels, 
and in many other electronic devices requiring higher operating voltages. And there you have it. A comprehensive overview of boost converters and their essential role in electrical engineering. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. For more in-depth tutorials, resources, and tools, visit our website at electricalengineeringapp.com. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.